we are just two months away from the launch of iPhone 15 which will be equipped with iOS 17. But Apple has already launched its iOS 17 beta version for its users to experience. Of course, a lot of tech experts have already got their hand on it, used it and expressed their opinions about it which we will discuss. But then, if you want to experience this rolled out version of iOS 17 beta, stay tuned till the end of the video because we will tell you how you can do so. Apple's greatest annual software update for iPhone customers, iOS 17, was formally unveiled at WWDC. Previously, only registered developers who paid a $99 per year membership fee had access to iOS developer betas. However, this year, Apple is opening up betas for anyone who registers for a free developer account and signs up for the program. Many top tech experts have reviewed the latest beta release and here's what they have to say about the latest iOS 17 beta update. India's top tech YouTuber Gaurav Chaudhary aka Technical Guruji was really impressed by the multiple features of the iOS 17 beta update. He particularly liked the contact cards feature where you can customize the way the contacts look in terms of pictures, different styles, different fonts which makes your contacts card very interesting. The well-known US tech YouTuber Marcus Brownlee aka MKBHD also highlighted the standby mode. So basically, whenever your iPhone is on charging and horizontal, it triggers the standby mode and you can use various widgets in the background with preset layout. Marcus also praised the name drop feature, which might be quite useful for consumers who are already in the Apple ecosystem. These YouTubers also questioned the stability of the beta update. While YouTuber Nabil Nawab mentioned about the storage bug and the battery issues, some users faced the battery loss by 3 to 4 percent. A few users also faced issues with display and system getting crashed frequently. There were various opinions by the beta users on social media platform X. Some welcomed the new features and tweaks, while others openly condemned the beta version. If you want to keep an open mind, consider the following steps on how to enable the most recent beta rollout. Apple has made it easier than ever to install beta releases of iOS. Here's what you do. First, make sure that your device is running iOS 16.4 or later. Now, head over to the Apple's beta software portal on your device's Safari browser and sign up with the primary Apple ID you use on the device. Now go back to Settings, General, Software Update. You should now see a new beta update option right under Automatic Updates. Select iOS 17 Developer Beta or iOS 17 Public Beta under Beta Updates. Once all that is done, go back on screen to Settings, General, Software Update. You should see your iOS 17 Beta update there. Select Download and Install and follow the instructions from there. The early release versions of Apple's mobile OS are famous for their notorious bugs. There is a high chance that you might be experiencing poor battery life, sudden device crashes, certain apps not working and more. If that's the case, here's how you can downgrade from iOS 17 developer or public beta to iOS 16 using recovery mode on your iPhone. Connect the iPhone to your Mac or Windows PC. Launch the Finder app on your Mac and click on your iPhone name in the left panel. Now, press and hold the power button until your iPhone goes into recovery mode. Switch over to Mac and click the Restore button when prompted. Now, click the Restore and Update button in the pop-up window. Then, follow the on-screen instructions to restore your iPhone to iOS 16.